Okay. Trapezius. Trapezius goes from the neck to this point. Then we have latissimus dorsi or dorsi um, on the scapula. Okay. We have uh, supraspinatus above the spine, infraspinatus, which is below the spine, and then you have teres major. Okay. On the back side of the scapula, we have subscapularis and we have the rhomboideus. Now, um, when we look <clears throat> on the side, we have clido brachialis from this line down, and then we have clidocephalus from this line up. Um, we also have the deltoideus, and then we have, in this area, we have the triceps brachii. Now, when we turn it over, okay, we're looking at the ventral surface. We have pectoralis. We have linea alba, rectus abdominis, and then we have the external obliques. Then we have internal oblique. Now, today, what you guys did, we have satoris and gracilis. Underneath Satoris and Gracilis, we have the muscles vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, and vastus medialis. Uh, and that is all under Satoris. Under Gracilis, we have adductor femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. Now, you guys have not seen these yet, but we have a muscle in this area that's kind of heart shaped, and that is tensor fascia latte. This muscle is the bicep femoris. We have the gastrocnemus. Then we have the Achilles tendon. And then I'll cut back the bicep. bring it down. There we go. Okay. And then we have the sciatic nerve. And now let's look at external features. Okay. The front paws we call manis. The back paws we call pads. Okay. The toe pads on manis are torus digitalis. The uh, palm pad is torus metacarpalis, and then at the wrist, we have torus carpalis. On the pads, the toe pads are called torus tarsalis, and the foot pad is called torus metatarsalis. Now, on the head, okay, the ears are called penna, the whiskers are called vibrissae, the nares are the nostrils, and then the cleft in between is the philtrum. Thank you. You're welcome.